transfer it over to your pizza crust. I stepped on the kitty. Hey, baby. <laughs> Show the baby. That's our little rescue kitty that Mama didn't want because he had weird feet. Okay. If he starts to play with my toes, we're in trouble. Oh, shoot. Okay. Stretch it out to the size you want. Roll up your edges to make a crust. And then I'll show you how to make it crispy in the oven. Okay, I'm going to transfer the last one onto our sheet, our pan. And here's what you need to do at the edges. Just like with these over here, form them up just a little bit. You, can, you have a little bit of playroom. Stretch them out. This one somehow has a little extra, so this crust will be a little doughier. That's fine. Okay, remember the oven is preheated already to 400 degrees. Now from this point, you can either fill this already with the, your pizza toppings and bake the whole thing together, or because we like to have a crispy shell, um, we like to go ahead and par-bake them at 400 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes, and that will make them uh, ready to top after they've cooled. And then we'll just be able to bake up the final pizza for about 10 minutes. Okay. Prick each of these with a fork all the way around. What this will do is keep the bubbles from forming. You won't end up with a big pizza wart in the middle. And then brush with a generous helping of olive oil. and then place them in your oven. Okay, after a good generous brushing with olive oil, we're gonna put this puppy into the oven for about 10 minutes, 400 degrees, eight to 10, keep an eye on it. You might wanna spin it in case you have hot spots and then um, take it out and show it to you. I can't fit all three in my oven, so I have to do one alone and these two will go together. There she goes. in the other two in a minute but I want to explain once this cools you can go ahead and top it pop it back in for just 10 minutes excellent the best whole grain pizza you have ever tasted now the other benefit to this is we will only eat a well okay we'll eat probably all of them but if we were gonna only eat a few of them these freeze wonderfully you can get a turkey roasting bag, like a 20 pound turkey roasting bag, because they come in a pack of four. Most people will eat one or two turkeys at Thanksgiving anyway. So you have the leftover, tie it up, and it fits these perfectly. That means any night during the middle of the week, anytime you don't feel like making the crust from scratch already, you've already got scratch made crust, freshly milled whole wheat pizza dough made into ready to go crust for fast food. Have a great day.